Hi folks, I'm Ian Baker, the product specialist here at American RV. Today we're going to go over the 2016 Springdale 271. Let's go ahead and start right up front here. You'll notice we're going to have our power tongue jack, nice and easy to use. Just flip of a switch. You'll also have a light on here in case you're going to be connecting or disconnecting at night. Right behind that's going to be our propane tank cover. Nice easy thumb screws, we lift that open. You'll see it is going to come with two 30 pound propane tanks, which is going to be fantastic if you ever do go boondocking. You're going to have plenty of propane for heat and cooking. Also right here is going to be our diamond plating. That way any rocks or anything that get thrown up, it's going to hit the diamond plating and not beat up our front end. As we move around to the side, you can take a look at our nice wide pass-through storage. Nice wide opening, so it's really easy to get our grills, uh, chairs, everything else we're going to need right in there. Take a look at this too. This is this uh, particular unit is going to have two entryways. Look how low the step is to the ground. Super simple to get in. So if you do have bad knees, not going to have to worry about hurting your knees. You can just climb right in right here. This is going to be the secondary entrance. This is going to be uh, lead into the bedroom here. Right next to that is going to be our outside shower. This is going to have both hot and cold. The thing I like about this is it's going to be on your door side. Most of your outside showers are going to be on the off door side or the back of the coach. This is a lot more convenient so you don't have to go around. If you do want to do any kind of cooking or uh, food prep outside, you're going to have that as well. Right above that is going to be your black tank flush, which is great. Uh, makes it a lot easier when you're done camping. Instead of taking your hose, putting it down the toilet when you're uh, breaking camp, all you have to do is put the hose right there, there's going to be sprayers built into the black tank, it'll go ahead and wash it out for you. Right here is going to be our outside entertainment system. So we're going to have this mount right here. What you can do is you can take your TV mount from inside. It's actually going to unattach. It'll slide right into here so you have your outside TV. Cable hookup right here as well as our electric hookup. And then up above that is going to be our power awning. That way we can sit out here, open up that power awning. It's going to help reduce the glare so you can easily see your TV. As we move back, we'll take a look at our uh, axle system. You'll notice this is going to be spread axles, which is going to give you better towability. It'll also have the correct track alignment system. It's been proven over time that your axles will actually get misaligned. The correct track system makes it nice and easy uh, to go ahead and realign those. Just bring them in and we can go ahead and make some tweaks and get them lined back up so you're not getting uneven tire wear. Here's going to be your main entrance. Again, nice and easy to get in. You'll see right here is going to be our foldable grab handle. Uh, that way it does give you a uh, nice easy or something to grab onto for easier entrance. And also the door is going to be a stay put friction hinge. So nice thing about that, wherever you put it, the door is going to stay. You don't have to worry about connecting it back here where you know you might forget about it and accidentally rip it out. You don't have to worry about having a strut that's going to leave, leave it open right here. It can uh, go anywhere you want it. Also really neat on your screen door right here, you'll notice to open up the screen door, you don't have to slide this. All you have to do is push this down right here and the screen opens. It's a lot easier system to get in and out of the camper. As we come around to the back side, right back here is going to be our bumper. This is going to be a hollow bumper, so you can go ahead and put your sewer hose right in here. Uh, here's going to be your power cord reel. So when you're done, you can just tuck that right back in there so you always have it nice and convenient. And then in the back is going to be our nice large rear picture window. That way, if you are backed up to a really beautiful site, maybe you have you know oceanfront or lake view, you can just turn your chairs around in the back, enjoy your morning coffee, and look out the back. Also, if you look up top of the roof line, you'll notice you're going to have a curved roof. That's going to help for water runoff, so your water is going to run to the sides, and you'll see you're going to have your uh, gutters, your troughs on both sides. That way the rain's going to go to the front and back of the camper and not fall down right on you as you're coming out the door. All right, why don't we go inside and take a look. Welcome to the inside of the 2016 Springdale 271. As you can see, this is a rear living floor plan. Right behind me are going to be two swivel rockers. You're also going to have this nice stand in the center which is perfect for your iPad or any kind of beverage you want to set there. Also as I pointed out on the outside you have this nice large rear picture window which is perfect if you have a beautiful view out the back. Also up top you're going to get some excellent storage. You'll have three different doors and the storage is going to go all the way across. 
You also have a speaker right here as well as one in the front that will be attached to the multimedia center which I'll show you in a little bit. But first let's take a look at our slide out. We're going to have a super slide here. You get an extremely comfortable sofa. This is going to be a trifold sofa sleeper. So it's nice and easy to make up. This is actually going to be the preferred type of bed because you're not going to have a big bar in your back or you're not going to have to worry about an air mattress deflating on you. So if you do have additional guests, this will easily sleep two adults and it's going to be a, a very comfortable night's rest. Right up above, you're going to have some storage. You get the nice decorative glass on here, open it up and you have plenty of storage space. You'll also get no, uh, great windows all the way throughout, so it's going to let in a ton of sunlight. Same thing here. You'll notice right here is going to be a charging center, so you'll have your 12-volt connection here, as well as two USB plugs right there. Here's going to be our booth dinette. Uh, you will have a freestanding table, so this table can come out if you would like it to. You can actually put this in front of your uh, couch, and this will drop down into a coffee table. The other thing I really like about the booth dinette is you have doors right here for nice, easy access to your storage. So you can take a look in there. That storage goes all the way through, but that's just excellent to have that access. You don't have to worry about taking the cushions and everything off. Right here is going to be our entertainment center. So we'll have our 24 inch TV. Uh, this will be a Jensen TV, which is going to be a top name brand in the RV industry because it's built to be able to take a lot of the bumps and everything going down the road. Also, it will be on a swing arm. So if you want to watch TV in the kitchen, in your chairs, couch, dinette, wherever you are, you can easily do that. Now, this will be connected to your uh, Jensen Multimedia Center right here. Like I mentioned earlier, this does have Bluetooth capability, so you can use your iPad or cellular device and connect to that wirelessly. Uh, this will have your speaker zones inside here, as well as the ones I showed you outside. And this will also be a DVD player. So you can go ahead and pop a DVD in here, and you'll be able to watch it on your TV. As we take a look at the kitchen, I love this. Take a look at the pantry space. Huge pantry storage right there next to the fridge. You know, a lot of times you don't have that in a lot of travel trailers, but it's so great to have. You have plenty of space to put everything you're going to need. Also, right next to that is going to be our seven cubic foot fridge freezer. So again, nice large Dometic fridge freezer combo. Uh, you can go ahead and set your temperature right on front here, and it will have automatic switchover. So if it's running off LP, as soon as you plug it into shore power, it is going to switch over for you. Up top, you'll have some additional storage up there. Then as we take a look at the rest of our kitchen, you have more storage here as well as good storage here. So a ton of storage here in our galley. Right in between is going to be our stainless steel microwave right here. Here's going to be our weight, 6,880 pounds. Beneath that is going to be our fully functional hood with a light and a fan. Uh, we'll have plug-in here, so that's going to be for any extra appliances, whether it's a blender or coffee maker. Nice place for a coffee maker, I think. There's also going to be another plug-in over there. You'll also have your tank monitoring panels here, as well as your water heater. Your water heater went, can run off of gas or electric, or if you want faster recovery, you can turn them both on at the same time. You'll have plenty of countertop space in here, three burner Atwood stovetop, so you do get better flame control. You'll also have an oven in case you'd like to bake anything. And you're going to have a bank of four drawers. That's, again, something you don't often have in a lot of travel trailers, but it's very important to have. You have to have a place to put your silverware, you know, your kitchen towels, everything else that is going to go in your kitchen. Nice spice rack here, as well as additional storage right underneath. And you're going to have storage on the side here, as well as an additional drawer. Now, you do have your sink top cover, which you can flip this over. This will be cutting board quality here. And you're going to have a very very large single bowl sink. So I really like single bowls because it's nice and easy to put in uh, an entire pot in here and you know you don't have to worry about it sitting up on an angle with a long handle and if you want a separate basin to uh, wash and rinse you can just buy like the little uh, plastic containers you can set right in there and you can have your own little rinse basin. Also you have your stainless steel high-rise faucet on here which again is going to help aid in uh, washing your dishes.
All right, that's pretty much gonna wrap it up for up here. Let's go ahead and head in the back. We'll take a look at our bathroom and bedroom. In our bathroom, you'll see we're gonna have a mirrored medicine cabinet. You get good storage in there. Right below that is going to be our plug-in for hair dryer or anything else we're gonna need. Sink, of course, countertop, and you'll have additional storage underneath. We do get a nice, large neo-angle shower. You can take a look in there. You'll see you have some shelving space, your hand wand, and up top, you're going to have your skylight. Let's in a lot of light and gives you additional headroom. Then here in our corner is going to be our uh, porcelain stool with a foot flush on there. So that way it's nice and easy to use, easier to clean. Let's go ahead and come on into the bedroom. In the bedroom, we're gonna have our queen bed, which you will have plenty of storage underneath and that will be strut assisted in order to help you raise it and lower it. Around the bed, we're gonna have plenty of storage with our mirrored wardrobes, which have hanging space, as well as additional storage up above the bed. Below our wardrobes, we are gonna have shelves, which both sides are gonna have plug-in, which is gonna be perfect if you need to plug in your cellular device or if you have a CPAP machine. You're also going to get additional drawers for a nightstand, and you will have additional shelving space on both sides. Last but not least, right in between our hallway and bathroom doors, we do have a spot a mounting bracket for our LCD TV. So if you do want TV in the bedroom, you can absolutely have one mounted. All right, folks, thanks for joining me. Again, this is the Springdale 271. Fantastic floor plan, nice and open, beautiful rear living. Definitely one you wanna come out and take a look at. If you do have any questions or comments, please go ahead and leave those on the video below, or you can give me a call here at American RV and I'll be happy to answer them for you. I'm Ian Baker, thanks for joining, and I hope you have a fantastic camping season.